Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. It's the first Friday of the month, so it's a first Friday feeding. And today I'm going to be feeding my Porcela Levis dairy cow, something I've never fed them before. Damon of NocturnalExotics.com brought some things by a little while ago for me to try out. He brought some Pangea Gecko Diet, which I use and appreciate. Some Rapashi Morning Wood, which I also use and appreciate. So thanks, Damien, for sending that those. But he also sent some Spring Cuisine Premium Springtail Food. Can also be used for isopods. I'm interested in trying this out. This is produced by vivariumsinthemist.com. So I'll put a link in the description both to Nocturnal Exotics and to vivarius, vivariumsinthemist.com. Neither of them asked me for a shout out, but I thought I'd just do that anyway. And also some ISO grub. These are freeze-dried minnows. You can kind of see that, can't you? And since isopods are detritivores, this is perfectly valid item for their menu, as well as some dried mealworms, tended for springtails and isopods. Again, from vivariums in the mist. So, what I'd like to do is a time lapse. I'm going to put a little bit of some of these foods in the enclosure here. And then we'll do a time lapse and see what the isopods think. And I guess I should really say we'll see what the isopods tend to prefer, or we'll see what the feeding response of the isopods is. This is the spring cuisine. I'll put a little bit right here. They are hungry little isopods. They haven't had food for a couple of days. You can see one of them is already digging in there. Oh, a couple of them are digging in. And I'm going to open the ISO Grub, which is the uh, freeze-dried minnow product here. See what they think of this. Again, I'll put links down in the description to these uh, foods and the websites that I just mentioned. Here's a couple of uh, the minnows. The ISO Grub. And now I'll do the ISO meal, or the mealworms. I'm wondering if my blue death fainting beetles would like some of this stuff. I bet they would, because they like to eat dried insects. They might like the mealworms or the, the fish, the, the minnows. And right here, I'll put some of the dried mealworms. All right, then let's move on to the time lapse. Well, I let that run for about half an hour, and as you can see, there was a good feeding response for all three of the food types that I added, of course. I chose to use Porcelia labus because, one, I know that they're not as uh, likely to scatter when light is shined on them, and I wanted to get some good illumination. I also know that they're quite voracious, so I'd get a good feeding response, but I've also put some of the ISO grub in a lot of my other isopod containers to see how they do. I'm excited about this. Thanks again to Damien from Nocturnal Exotics for uh, bringing these over so I could try them out. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to rate, share, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.